Hi, welcome to this video, how to spot a phishing email and what to do with it. Um, first, before I get into it, you should understand what is phishing and why it's important. So if I go to the Microsoft Safety and Security Center, they define phishing as um, phishing emails, websites, and phone calls are designed to steal money. Um, cyber criminals do this by installing uh, malicious software on your computer or by stealing your personal information off of your computer. Cyber criminals also use social engineering to convince you to install malicious software or to hand over your personal information under false pretenses. They may email you, they may call you on the phone, or convince you to download something off of a site. Uh, they, over the time, they've gotten a lot trickier. They are able to uh, use a lot of different methods and ways of tricking people to give away their personal information. Hopefully, this video will help you identify a phishing email. So I've noticed a lot of uh, strange emails lately. I've seen a rise of phishing attacks and phishing emails and I wanted to make a quick video because I know that these attacks are very common. A lot of people don't realize that these are attacks and they are roped in, if you will, to responding to them. So I want to make a quick video to help you hopefully be able to identify whenever you get a phishing email. So here I have my, my mail open and you'll notice that it says I have an email here from PayPal. And in my uh, inbox it actually says PayPal, there's an alert, view recent activity, and it shows a receipt number and everything else. When I open it up I can see that it says it's from PayPal and also if I look on the alert I uh, view your recent activity. So here's the first thing I'm going to do is the first thing I want to do is double check to see who's it from. So in this case I can simply click on it, double click and I'll notice it says here PayPal service underscore no reply 100 at online Telstra. So that's a, an indicator that this is not a real email from PayPal because it would normally say uh, something at paypal.com. So this online Telstra thing, that's kind of fishy already. So that's already telling me that this is not a real email. So one thing I, I would want to do is uh, double check the rest of it. So I'll notice it says here I have an alert, view recent activity, and the receipt number is kind of weird looking. So if you notice it says 789654. Well, if I was to do this and go from right to left, four, five, six, and then left to right, seven, eight, nine. So that, that number here looks a little suspicious to me. I'm not sure if this is really real. And then it has at the end here, 1544. All right, so it looks like a receipt number, but automatically I can tell here that number does not look like a copacetic number. It could be valid, but it doesn't look very nice. Next thing I notice, if I look at it here at PayPal, the actual symbol here, it, that doesn't look right about it. So let me open up um, PayPal on my computer. Let me go into private mode. So here I am in private mode. So let me just go to the PayPal site real quick. I just want to see what does that symbol look like. And I'll notice here, automatically I see it's up here, but well, that doesn't look, this is a, a black and white picture. I need to see a color one. So I'm just going to click on login real quick. And ah, here we go. So I'll notice here that the blue in PayPal that doesn't match my email that I got here. That, that, it's off a little bit. Just by looking at it, I can tell it's off. And also, if I notice, it doesn't look right because there's not that logo. The PP, the logo for PayPal, is not on the left-hand side like it normally is. So I don't see that here. So again, this is a third indicator that this might be a false one. And it says, access a new device. Well, that's not very descriptive. It doesn't tell me anything. Access a new device, what does that mean? If I read down here, it says, a device or website that we do not know, request access to your account. Okay, this is a big thing. A lot of your phishing emails are coming from countries that are not English speakers. So their English is not very good in their emails. So you'll notice here, a device or a website that we do not know, request access. This, if you are a native English speaker, you know that that is not proper English. This is PayPal, multi-billion dollar company. I'm sure they have marketing people who can double check the spellings and the um, grammar of any email messages coming out. So that's not right. Next thing I noticed, it says it, the location was out of Italy. Um, I'm in America, so if I was just to look at that, I'd say, well, no, I'm, that's not me. But also, if I look at the IP address, it looks a little odd. So it says 2.47.255.255. I'm not going to go into the whole scheme, but I can tell you here this last part, 255.255, 255, 
that is not normal. That's not a normal IP address. Now, I can go into something like a DNS reverse lookup, and it's going to tell me if this IP address matches the country. I can tell you this one does 2.47. That's going to say it is an, an Italian one, but that last part just looks a little fishy to me. Next, it says Navigator. Um, Chrome Windows. What's a navigator? What's a navigator? Now, if I look at this Chrome Windows, it tells me that, okay, I guess they're trying to say this is the browser that it came to. So that that's a, a, a red flag there. Again, the grammar is not right. And then I got this bullet point, but nothing on it. Let me see if I double click. There's nothing in that bullet point. Again, PayPal, all your major co corporations and companies, they have uh, marketing people who check emails they're not going to uh, release an email that's going to have a uh, a bullet point just standing out here like that so again already we've noticed that the address that it came from fishy the uh, receipt fishy the logo colors off the um, not having the symbol or their their, their logo there off uh, access new address new, new device uh, off if I look at the English here off if I look at the IP address off if I look at this navigator off if I look at this bullet point off so already I have about five six maybe even seven things that just looking at the email without doing anything else tells me it is off next it tells me something it says if you were not please update your account information from the link below okay if you were not please update you see again bad grammar this is classic phishing tells me that there's something wrong here if I look here it's got a link here oh looky here when I hover over it's telling me it's going to hospitex.ro verified so hospitex ro I can tell you the ro that's the country it's coming out of that's Romania uh, PayPal's headquarters are not in Romania so therefore this message would not be coming from Romania hospitex again it's not gonna say hospitex it should go straight to PayPal now um, I'm gonna actually copy this link and open it up in um, my private browser and show you what you're gonna see so this is a real this page here is a real um, PayPal right so I'll notice up the top the address is PayPal it's got the um, the correct VeriSign credentials but if I go to this other one All right, so if I look at them, they look very similar. Look at there, they look very similar. All right, the only issue is if you'll notice, this one is sits a little bigger, it's a little higher on the page, that's unusual. Not really, but it can be. And next thing I know, it's gonna ask me for my email address and my password, and then it's gonna want me to log in. Okay, this is where the fish occurs. This is where the phishing happens. Uh, if, you're, if you do click this link, this looks legitimate. Like I said, if you look here, it's off just by a little bit, but not much. Also look up here, if you'll notice the web address, this is not going to that hospitex.ro. It's telling me it's going someplace incrediblelistbuilders.com. So this, I can tell you, this is a piece of software. It's a website that actually collects email addresses and passwords, all right? PayPal doesn't use this. Next thing, I've, if I look at this page, it looks a little fun, it looks a little shifty here, right? If I go down here to where it says contact us, privacy, legal, worldwide, those should be links. Notice it's not changing to a finger to tell me I can click this. So that's not going anywhere. This is a scraped website. If I go to a real page and I go down here where it says contact us, notice, oh, look at here, I get the finger. It's telling me that I can go to those pages. So again, this is not a very good one. What it's trying to do is it wants me to enter an email address, enter my password, and then click log in. So this email message, I can tell you, is false. It's not a real email. Uh, a little later on, about an hour after I got this email, I got this email. So you'll notice I got another email from PayPal, supposedly, telling me that this person sent me $100.19. So be careful. Um, this is another phishing. This way it makes it look like, oh, wait, there must have been real. So if you got this email originally, you would thought, okay, throw it away. But then this one came in. The exact same thing. They're trying to get your email information and your password. So these are phishing attacks. Unfortunately, there's not really much you can do with it. The best thing to do, I'm going to show you the best thing to do right now, is to go over here and just click delete and click delete. All right. And now you're going to get rid of those email messages um, and you're going to go away from this site and just forget about it. Yeah, you could try contacting PayPal or the company that 
they're fishing and they'll probably you know put you through this whole rigmarole of filling out a form and all this other stuff but really there's not much they can do about it either um there is something on the fbi website where you can fill in a form to talk about you know hoaxes and scams but again the fbi they may or may not do anything uh the, it's it's unfortunately these criminals are operating in uh, the dark web, they have, I mean, this site is one site, but there's a site after a site after a site. You can't really pin them down to find them. So it's not even worth going through the whole issue about it. Uh, one piece of advice I give, I'll give for you, if you get an email from any vendor, any merchandiser, any major company, or even a small company, don't click on the links in the email itself. What you should do is, so if it's from PayPal, just like you saw me earlier, I actually went to PayPal. I typed in paypal.com. There, I know I'm on PayPal. I can log in. If there is a problem with my account, I will get a message. PayPal is really good at notifying there's been a message or a suspicious activity or something. And then I, I know I'm working through that end. If you go the other route where you just typed in the information on that page that they gave you a link to, yeah, you would have just given out your entire information to PayPal, uh, not to PayPal, um, to the fishers, the attackers, who would then go into PayPal and drain your account, literally drain it. They would change the password and then if you have it for like you're getting payments in there quite regularly, they would just redirect those payments elsewhere. So it becomes a big headache. So anyway, that's my quick tutorial on how to identify uh, phishing emails. Uh, they're, they're becoming quite common now. We're seeing more and more of them. Uh, they've been around for years. However, now I've noticed an uptick, which is telling me that a lot of people are clicking on those links and are giving their information away. And to be honest with you, it is not smart. It's really, uh, it's a headache for you because then you have to try to get access to your account again. Then you have to go through this whole thing where you're filling out reports that honestly, nothing ever happens with them. I mean, it's very rarely that somebody gets arrested for that that crime because it occurs internationally. It occurs in countries that don't have certain arrangements with the United States or with your country. So therefore, there's really not much law enforcement can do for you. So you would have lost the money and meanwhile, that criminal is off and running. So that's my tutorial. Stay safe out there.